I am so happy that I'm finally able to upload videos again. That has been crazy. I don't know what was happening, but I was finally able to upload my last video, that short little edit that I made just to see if it would work. So, and it did, thank goodness. So if you haven't been able to tell already, today I am doing a vlog all about my new wheelchair. So hang around. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the basics first, as in what type of wheelchair it is. This is a tie light, as you can see, it's tie light, and it's the Aero Z, and I believe it's the maybe second series or two or something along those lines. Um, and I absolutely love this so far. It has been amazing compared to my other chair. Um, I will put a link up here somewhere to um, my old chair, all about it. And um, I think I also did tips and tricks in that video. So as you can see, tie light, the other side says um, arrow Z there. And I'll go over some specific specs here too. Um, I have this, I can't remember my measurements and everything offhand, so I figured I would, I would go ahead and share that. But the frame style is a tie like Aero Z. The, this is um, super wet jet black. Um, and then it has the ultraviolet um, oxidized color um, highlights here above the casters, or on the casters. And then underneath too, as you saw when I did the walk around, um, it also has some ultraviolet under there. The, um, it is, or the seat width is 20 inches, um, height is 18 and a half, I think, or no, depth is 18 inches. Um, it's the 18 and a half and 17 and a half for rear and front have actually changed. They're not that anymore. Hi, baby. Did you pop in to say hi? Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, am I okay? What's going on? <coughs> 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 okay. <coughs> Five minutes later. Anyway, super happy with this chair. Um, this is a comfort do this. This is a comfort um, curve. I think this pretty much comes standard with most chairs nowadays. Um, I liked this because of the type of material. It's not really like a hard memory foam. Oh, actually it is. It's basically a hard memory foam material you can see. Um, which is great for users if you are a part-time user. Um, which is what I am. Um, I, am I am a part-time wheelchair user. Um, this also has the dip here to shape more with the thighs, which makes it nice. It's not completely solid. Um, the Velcro is in. You got Velcro on the bottom there. This is pretty rigid. I want to say there's like an extra thing here um, because this, over time, um, can um, give and not be as taut or tight. So it helps um, with support having this a little bit thicker. Um, I do have Velcro down either side here as well. And guys, this is a, a rigid frame. So this frame doesn't fold, but um, in another video, I will show you how I take it apart and um, you know go on specs like that. But for now, I'm just telling you the different specs of the chair. So the cushion is removable, which makes it easier when putting it in a car. Also, my side guards here are um, are removable as well. So if I needed to, uh, you know, compact that even a little bit more, oops, put it in the wrong direction. I use side guards because one, I don't want water and things getting all over my my pants, and I also chose to have my seat not as wide. Um, I kind of liked the pressure a little bit because I'm up. Uh, it makes me feel more secure in the chair. So I still have space on either side um, with the 20 inches, but it is a little bit more compact and I, I just like that, that's just me. Um, so this does have scissor brakes, very easy to um, 
push down and then just release. You don't usually, well, this one's being tricky, but usually you don't have to put much pressure. It just kind of locks into place. <clears throat> um, I forget how big my tires are. I believe these are 30, no, 20. Twenty-four. They're twenty-four. So um, standard twenty-four inch tires. These are the hard rubber. These are these do not take air. I chose that because I didn't want the extra upkeep, and I am a part-time user, so I'm not doing as much um, with my chair um, that I would need the airs or the air-type tires. I want to talk about the front here a little bit. I don't know how well you guys can see, but hopefully you can see it um, fairly well. So I have these, um, I guess you would call, I don't know, they're like shin guards kind of. They're removable. I'm keeping them on here to keep this from getting so scratched up. Um, my legs, I like to sit with my feet crossed sometimes, and my, my calf and my upper leg does kind of um, uh, rub up against this a little bit. So having that little extra padding there helps. Um, the foot plate in the front is also graded, which is awesome. A lot of times you won't see graded ones like these when you go to have your wheelchair fitting done um, or to test out wheelchairs. It's just like a, a tubing. Um, so I like that because when it's raining or anything out, like that outside, then you know that, that all drips through. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, it's not really tapered that much in the front. It is towards the bottom down here a little bit and that's how I wanted it. I wanted this space up here to keep my um, calves from rubbing here. Because I'm only a part-time user and because I have um, <clears throat> use of my legs and I can feel them, um, I didn't want to get like sores here when I'm out for long periods of times at like festivals and stuff like that. Um, I didn't want to get sores. That's something my old chair did. I would get sores right here when I was out a long period of time. <clears throat> so it is tapered a little bit. I'm not sure on the degrees here, but down towards the bottom it's tapered. So um, also I have a larger size caster and that is because I am a bigger person. Um, also, it's going to help me get over terrain better. Um, when you have the smaller casters, it's harder to get over different types of terrain. So um, I have the ones that are a little bit bigger. Um, and also decided to go with a pop on my wheel. Instead of getting that jet black, I went ahead and got that the chrome color. So these can be um, changed out too if I wanted to. Um, but these are the larger ones and I wanted the larger ones so I would be able to get over things a little bit easier. Flipping around to the back back here. So this does have, um, this is the other thing I really like. This does have fold down handlebars. Wonderful, I love it, love it. Because then people can't just come up to you and start pushing you, which I have come to find is a common occurrence. Sometimes it's not even, hey, do you need help or do you want help? It's just they, they push you out of the way. Like you're an inconvenience. Please don't do that, guys. People who are watching this that aren't wheelchair users, please don't go up and randomly just start pushing someone in a wheelchair. It's very rude and scary. So these just um, pop up and lock into place. Just push the button down, they fold down. It's awesome. I also have this cool little pouch back here. It's probably kind of hard to see, but um, it's fairly deep. It goes down pretty far. Emergency Butterfinger is like, I feel like I'm gonna pass out because I have eaten because I don't eat sometimes. Um, I also stuck, um, this is kind of a new material that will stick to itself, but I do have Velcro on here. I stuck Velcro on there and then put this patch on there um, to get the point across with uh, Luna. Also, cool, I found a use for my leash wraps that I don't usually use. I can put this on this bar back here and just have it there. So I'm actually ordering a few more of these from Patience and Love. You guys will see those eventually that say different things. Um, <clears throat> one of them says you wouldn't pet this, meaning wheelchair, so please don't pet the dog. Um, and the other one says, um, no, comma, thank you, I do not need help. 
um, because I get I've gotten so many people so many people ask and it's nice that you ask but most um, disabled people or people in wheelchairs don't need the help <laughs> they don't need the help and they don't want it um, also there is a spot down here for my rolly bars I have taken those off because um, it, it interfered with me getting up and down curbs it was preventing me from getting as high as I needed to go with some curbs um, or bumps in the road. So I took those off and it's been easier to get around. These two things right here <clears throat> are for my armrest. It does have removable armrests. I do not use them. They just came standard with the chair. So I took those off as well because they were in my way. Um, and that is pretty much my chair. Um, also, there's a bar right here. If you pull this bar, the backrest goes down. So it goes even smaller compact, and of course my wheels come off. Um, and like I said, I'll do a separate video how everything breaks down and whatnot. But this, uh, this is also very helpful getting in and out of the car. The only thing I don't like is that, oh, of course, the one time it's gonna lock, a lot of times when I go to pick it up, um, the bar is not locked into place and the seat or the backrest comes up. But um, this chair is also very light. Let me see. So the weight, the total weight um, with the wheels is 25 pounds. Without the wheels, it is, 20, what did it say, 20, 23 pounds? brain fart guys. Uh, it was somewhere between 22 and 23 pounds. So the wheels weigh like a pound or two each. Uh, but yeah, so this is my chair and I am super happy and excited to have this. It has been a blessing and you know, a godsend basically compared to Franken chair. Um, yes, these things, um, these were added, you saw in another video, I added these. Um, I will go over the little specs on things that I have, um, little wheelchair gadgets and things like that that I have at a later date. So I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out and for watching today. And we will see you guys next time. If you haven't checked out our channel, go ahead and check us out if you like what you see. Give us a thumbs up on this video. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our loony bin and become a loony for life because we're all a little crazy here. We'll see you soon, guys.